As far as fintech's concerned, it's very disruptive and it's a two-edged sword as well. For those who adapt it and embrace it, it will be a new way of competing and being very relevant to customers. For those that don't, we actually have research that shows in Europe and in uh, North America that potentially you stand to lose 32% of your revenue and customer base. And that typically will be your most valuable customers, not just today, but also in the future as they evolve and grow digitally. You know, most of those customers today are buying and selling over their mobile devices or through the internet in some shape or form. Um, and if you can't offer relevant products and services in that capacity, then as one of our clients in uh, Australia recently said to us, the CEO of the Commonwealth Bank, adapt or die. Banks will be affected by the introduction of these new technologies and infrastructures. Even more than being disintermediated, what's happening is a disintegration of services. So in every uh, value or product that a bank provides, there's uh, you know, 20, 30 startups attacking that very value and offering new products. So you see startups addressing lending, addressing student loans, addressing savings and participation in the public markets. And so banks are also at risk of disintegration of the um, suite of products that they offer. Banking is an entirely digitizable business and technology is a key enabler for innovation and digitization in banking. Having said that, uh, I see the future as more of collaboration and I see it as a symbiotic relationship between the banks and technology companies where each benefits from the other and uh, it overall enhances the value proposition for the customers. I like the way the Chinese look at the whole landscape they use the word called Tian Fu, uh, which in some way it means uh, subversion, overturning the um, tradition, uh, customs. So this is about uh, entire cultural change. So certainly FinTech is going to bring down the cost of uh, doing business for financial sector, especially, especially the banks. But more importantly, uh, it's just it's more than being cheap, you know, probably faster, probably better. Uh, it will lead to additional services. It will lead to services like P2P, credit rating, uh, micro-insurance. 